Hello awesome people, Awesome here. I'm gonna be real honest, I'm pretty sure I f***ed up real bad today. Here's the situation I'm in right now. I've got a pretty important meeting to go to at 10 a.m. Right now it is 8.53 a.m. And on top of this, I've received an email this morning where I've learned that I've messed up one of my previous shots and we need to get it fixed today. And this is fair enough, I actually made a pretty big mistake. I wanna keep this client happy. They're an awesome client of mine and it's pretty important. So I need to fix this shot in less than 30 minutes and traditional methods would usually not get me there to get it done in time, but I think I can get this done today with AI. Let's get right into the shot. So here we have this shot here. I've blurred out the person because this is a real interview footage that I got for a client and I don't have permission to share this person's face, so I'm not going to. So right now there's two things wrong with this shot. One is there's someone moving in the background of the window. It's not the worst, but it's not great. But what's really bad is that there was this delivery that happened right before we set up shot and I don't know how I did not pick up on this, but it's got a Dan Murphy's brand. We don't want to have this Dan Murphy's brand associated with this company. This is a employee branding video it's just adding this messiness so what we're going to try and do today is erase it so if we go into here essentially I'm gonna do two things I'm gonna try and find a shot I'm gonna take a screenshot of this and then use AI to get rid of this shot so I'm just gonna scroll across until there we go so in resolve to take a screenshot you just simply go here grab still so then we go into my gallery got this export so now that we have got our screenshot, we're gonna take this over to Dali. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna go upload image and skip the cropping. That's really important. Now you're just gonna hit check and we get this generation frame. And if you've seen a previous video of mine, you would have seen how this works, but essentially this generation frame is going to reference everything in this blue box here. Looking at it, this blurry footage might be problematic, but we'll see how we go. I've put this blur in here for the client, but if it, it might reference this blur as what this should be here. And so it's, things might get a bit messy, but let's give it a go. So essentially all we're going to do here is we are going to erase this a little bit like that. And we're just gonna simply call this, we've gotta give this a prompt. So we're gonna try two things. We're gonna try replace background and we're gonna try aircon unit because that is an aircon unit just here. We'll just see how everything goes. But usually in doing something like this, while this is generating, Photoshop is quite a long time to get things done. So with Photoshop, you gotta find things that look alike, put it in them. And especially with something like this, there's an actual aircon unit, or you're gonna just try to raise that and create this wall, but then you gotta make things match. Things just don't work out easily. And look at that. To me, that's perfect. It's indistinguishable. People can see what that's like. If I was to go with anything, I think that one's the best. Great, and look, it just looks like a reflection here. It's made everything super inconspicuous. No one's gonna notice anything. I'm gonna hit accept, and then I'm gonna hit download, and I'm going to download this replace image. Perfect, simply put, the rest of this is pretty much a painting technique you would find in video. All I have to do here is go into resolve. Now, look, you have a couple options when it comes to doing this. A lot of people might just take this screenshot here. Most people here, they might do your simple masking technique here where they create this image and draw a mask around and have this on the top layer. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I would rather go into Fusion here, Media Pool, grab that image. What I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna create a merge node, put this on top and a little circle. Ah, I see, has AI, ah, oh, no, because I exported Resolve in a lower resolution. That's why it's so small, got it transform so now we just got to scale this up twice as much i guess there we go you know what i don't like a circle let's get rid of that ellipse let's use a square do this something like that i would probably put this up like this i might actually do this entire side here of the wall because that's going to be the better option and I'm probably just gonna add a little blur. So I'm pressing the one key so I can see what my mask looks like here because I wanted this to look a little cleaner. And where is my softness? There we go. This is just gonna help it blend a little. So if we go like that, that looks pretty good if you say so myself. And then of course in here, I'm going to go to the color grade and I'm gonna get rid of that blur once I stop recording this for everyone here. But in saying that, looking at that, this took me roughly, what, four or five minutes and I was able to use AI to help paint out an unwanted element in the video. 
That's insane. To do something like this in Photoshop would take me 30 minutes to an hour. It's a real mess around just to get rid of one element, but with AI, no time at all. This was just absolutely incredible. What a fantastic experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you feel like being extra awesome, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It will really help this channel grow. I really would love to keep sharing these cool new techniques and discoveries I find. And until then, I'll catch you around.